Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky. This is Alon Paul speaking. We're going to be doing the community expedition here in just a couple moments. And wanted to do, it's called the Pole Star, of course. You can see it on there, Expedition 8, Pole Star. We're going to go ahead and get that started. Now what I've done, as I always do, is I go through that particular run-through on my own. And then, uh, so I have the bearing of, there we go. A little bit of a bearing of what is going to be needed in regards to the expedition and how we need to do it. Now, I know you might have seen others already uh, get it done. I'm going to go ahead and get it started. Um, there's a lot to the expedition, but it's one of the neater ones, in my opinion. Uh, not my favorite, mind you, but it's got some cool aspects to it. The fact of the matter, uh, in my own opinion, again, is that you're starting on a freighter, which is the only time you've ever started on a freighter. So that's pretty cool. Everything takes place on the freighter. You have no hyperdrive on your ship. And you have to acquire certain elements, certain items, and keep them in your inventory. Things that you normally wouldn't, like cobalt and things like that, in order to uh, uh, complete the expedition and get all the things that you need to uh, acquire. As you're upgrading your freighter, it's already going to have features built into it that will allow you to complete other aspects of the mission. So this is going to be a pretty neat expedition. So let's go ahead and get it started. We're about a minute and a half into the video, so let's see how we get going. I'll keep quiet. There, I just want to adjust the volume. There we go, that's better. Welcome home, Captain. Indeed. So, first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this stinking first-person viewpoint. I prefer the third-person viewpoint in pretty much everything that I'm doing here. So, going over it real fast. So, you can see that we have a couple different things. I think the music is just a bit loud. Let me go ahead and adjust that again one more time. Hold on just a second. It's a little bit better. Okay. So again, going through the expedition, all the different uh, phases and all the different milestones. So we're going to be doing, we have to read the first lo entry, uh, entry log. All the entry logs are read off to us by the Admiral on the ship, on the bridge. So, but we have to be in certain places in order to do so. But you see it's got some very interesting things. Setting foot on land. Uh, you got to warp with the ship. Construct, constructing the different rooms, as you can see. But we have to remember to do certain things along the way. See, we're going to be deploying a submarine later on, but we also have to discover plants. Okay. We've also got to shoot down eight pirates. We have to recruit three pirates into our squadron, which is expensive as far as nanites are concerned. We have to complete fleet expeditions as well. And there's a way to do that rather quickly. We have to destroy 30 asteroids, and we're going to do that rather rather fast. As soon as we get off the ship, we'll be doing that. We have to discover eight minerals, so we got to have to uh, view these things. We have to earn units. We have to find a crashed ship and restore it, and then repurpose it. In other words, come bring it up to the space station and sell it. And we have 15 more creatures to discover, as well as expanding our fleet, which is going to be also expensive in regards to credits. So, a lot to do. Let's get started. A little bit on the up and up. I actually did a recording last night, and I accidentally uh, messed the video up so royally that I didn't realize it until an hour and a half into it. So, Anyway, so we're going to access the ship's logs. Date stamp arrived in the Manioas system. Warp engine shut down mid-jump, reactor critically damaged. They're starting to run out of parts now. We can't continue like this. At least the captain's cryopod is beginning to thaw. So, we get our first achievement. Our first milestone is complete. Let's go ahead and grab it. So we get ship inventory slots. 
salvage frigate modules, wiring looms, which we really, really do need. So let's go ahead and put the inventory slots in. I'm going to go ahead and put them right down here because I kind of need the cargo space, or I'm going to be needing it. Okay, so we got some other things to take care of. We got to repair the vital systems. So let's go ahead and take a look at those vital systems on the freighter. So here's the first one. We need chromatic metal, gold, and, and one wiring loom. Now they've already given us gold. They've already given us chromatic metal. We're going to run out fast though. But remember these repair kits. Rather than selling them or putting them elsewhere, use them. So let's go ahead and fix this up real quick. That's done. We can fix this with chromatic metal. And you're going to need a lot of chromatic metal in this one. But the good news is, is that you can get it from the space station along with uranium. So you don't have to actually go anywhere to get that. So we need some other items here. So, but here, here's the fun part. Watch this. Give it a few seconds. There it is. We completed the second milestone. Let's see what it gives us. Antimatter, launch fuel, and two more repair kits. So we already have two antimatters on our on our ship with us now. So let's take a look. So we got two antimatters. What is this going to require? Guess what? Two antimatters. Let's go ahead and do that. Now the only thing we need is this, but guess what? We have three repair kits. So now we can do this right now and repair it. But this needs three different items in order to repair it. What's the most expensive of these items? The wiring loops, correct? So why don't we just use E, apply repair kit. Done. We have two more. Now I can repair both of these, and this is a matter beam, so I can transfer stuff back and forth to the ship and have access to it. Or I can repair the other item. So I'm going to repair this, even though we need two antimatter housings. I can make the antimatter housings rather simple. And I can make antimatter here too, as far as it's concerned. But I, these don't come very easily. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the repair kit here and here while we're at it. So now my transport beam, my matter beam, is going to be available to me for beaming stuff around. So that's going to be great. And when we fix this up, when we get the antimatter housings, because in order to build those, if I remember correctly, we need oxygen and ferrite dust, which we don't have yet. So guess where we're going? Let's get off this ship and go find out what we need to do. Now there's some things in my inventory I need to move around. Um, let's put this let's keep the silver on board because it's used mainly uh, and the and the tritium it's going to be used mainly for upgrading our ship the gold is as well so we'll keep that here um cargo bulkhead we could expand the bulkheads here if we want but i'm going to keep the wiring looms on the starship as well as the launch fuel of course this i'm going to keep here because we're going to need it here and obviously we're going to need more of that let's put that over in our exosuit so we don't have anything ready in our exosuit but let's move stuff around here real quick and get everything situated in such a way that we can support stuff. Starship. Uh, it's going to be funny looking to see the starship. We're going to keep the tritium on board for now, but we're going to see if we can't get our hands on some pyrite, which we can get, again, at the space station. Uh, let's see. As always, I put my weapons over in the supercharged slot. I'm going to put this down here. We're going to put you here, and we're going to put you over here. Okay. So we're all set. Multi-tool is going to be very limited in space. And we really, we're going to need some, uh, we're going to definitely need some stuff in order to get this by. I'm going to go ahead and put this on here just to get it ready. I don't have what I need to build it yet, but it's just going to be ready to go. And we'll put you down there. Okay. I think we're all set to get moving. Um, we can't build anything yet as far as any of the items are concerned. Um, as far as like cargo uh, units on, on board the ship or any of the bulkheads or anything like that. So, so you'll notice there's a weird glitch in regards to this, and I, I can't believe they still haven't fixed it, but while your freighter is still damaged, your ship reflects it. But your ship is perfectly fine and is capable of flying. There we go. All set. Hit the wrong button. All right, let's leave our, let's leave our uh, capital ship and head out. So now we could head straight to the space station, but hey, you know, we don't have any money. We need something. So let's see, is there anything around? First things first, remember the 30 asteroids? Let's do it. One, two, three. And guess what we get out of it? Gold, silver, precious metals, tritium. 
Mm -hmm. All over the place here, I know. The tritium hyperclusters are not worth as much as you might think. Uh, and they really won't get us what we need. Platinum's worth something. but And so is the gold for that matter. But you're going to need the gold. So hang on to it. Anytime now, it should be telling us that we have achieved the milestone. There it is. All right, so that's done. Let's go ahead and claim it, because we get something good out of this. If I can get it to... Oh, they haven't set foot on land yet. Uh, let's see, it's in phase four. What do we get? Oxygen. We need that oxygen. We also get storage augmentations in liquid sun. You will not need the liquid sun. Still trying to figure out why they gave it to us, but it's there. <laughs> anyway, so let's head to the planet side. You see a lot of people have been setting up bases on the planet. So there's really, uh, I'm not going to cheat by landing on their bases. I'm just going to head to the planet surface. We got copper on here and ammonia. We need sodium. We are going to need sodium. So if we can find a sodium deposit, we'll go ahead and suck that up because you can't you can't purchase it in the uh, space stations anymore. And we need something of value as well. We need to be able to sell some stuff. So we're going to try to find, which is the reason why I need the terrain manipulator, because... Let me see here. We need the terrain manipulator because the... Um, we have a lot of stuff we want to want to dig out. We're going to want to dig up stuff of value. We're going to get a lot of ferrite dust out of this. You've seen a lot of us do this in the past. Oh, it looks like I just passed over a clump of uh, dihydrogen. I want to grab that. Let's spin around. Some there, too. Good deal. Four geodes out of it, too. For some reason, you get these crystal fragments and geodes a lot easier than you do anything else. Well, I got nothing out of that. That's great. All right. I think we should have gotten quite a bit of stuff at this point. Let's see if we can find ourselves someplace to land. Well, there's a lot of communication blocks everywhere. Everybody wanting to say hi, I suppose. Uh, no landing platform here. Now, we could rush. We could just drop down as quickly as possible and try to make this in, almost like into a speed run. But we're not going to do a speed run. We're going to take our time a little bit. Wouldn't it be funny if I found a crash ship this early on? Hmm. All right, let's see what do we got here. Oh, that is a beacon, so we can find some place to land. Yeah. Seems to be a lot of platforms around here, a lot of campgrounds. I don't know what you want to call these settlements. And what do you know? That is kind of what we're looking for. Ooh, I know what this is. You know what? There's eggs here. Whispering eggs. Very nice. We should be able to get about 10 or 15 of them out of here. That's good. All right, let's get ourselves some carbon right away. And sentinel activity is pretty high over here, so I do have to be careful. And we definitely want cobalt. So if we have a nice cave around here, that would be nice. Now, the, the couple times I've played so far, I haven't had to, or haven't run out of oxygen. So the initial 1, 2, 3, 4, if you will, 1,234 that you received, um, seems to last me the whole time. Grab your navigation data. You're going to need it. You need at least a couple for yourself just because you are going to need it for your regular ordinary, you know, I need to call my ship in type crap. But you're also going to need it to trade in on some stuff in case you don't find your, uh, in case you don't find a uh, crash ship anywhere. Okay. So what do we got? 
We only got 109 carbon, but let's see what our starship pulled in. Plenty of oxygen, of course. This we're going to sell. Nothing there. A little bit of dihydrogen. Looks like we got plenty of ferrite dust. I'll go ahead and put that over there. We're going to put this here, here. It's good. Good amount of gold. We don't have a lot of dihydrogen. We'll keep that down here. Not a lot of carbon either. And we'll put you down here. Okay. A little separating of things here. I wonder if he's going to interfere if I go after these whispering eggs. All right. Let's do this. And if any of you have seen me do this before, I have a, I have a certain way of doing it. Just keep moving. Just keep moving, moving. Just don't stop. Oop, <laughs> he missed me. <laughs> I do have to concentrate on it, so there's going to be a little bit of a pause in the communication while I'm playing. Oop, hello. See? If for some reason when they attack you like that, unless you are actually got something going on, they like, you know, you're flying or something like that, yeah, we'll just pass by this one so we can get to the next one over here. They don't do a whole lot of damage. Now, if they start spitting at you, yeah, uh, looks like i got one left over there. Excuse me. Got that one. Uh, ferrite dust. Okay. Hope he doesn't call anybody in. Nope, that's ferrite. Ow. That hurt. There's none left there. Whoa, okay. Just have your jetpack handy. like I got all of them from there. I know just keep going around in circles. It's pretty much it. That's the first time somebody's actually injured me while doing this. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Hi. Pardon. Pardon. <laughs> Give me a little boost there. That's pretty cool. Uh, you know what? I'm going to turn on my lights because I can't see. <laughs> eh, nothing there. I think I might have gotten all of them. Nope, there's one more. Excuse me. Uh, let me check this one real quick. Yeah, I'm slowed down because I used up all my energy running. Uh, I think these are gone. Nope, nothing there. Sorry. Okay, we're done. So we've gotten all the eggs from here. Let's go inside and hang out for just a second. And we'll pick up some stuff along the way. Did I just get attacked? I might have gotten attacked. Yeah, he's attacking me, jerk. Ion battery, how nice. I could use one of those. Let's read some words. Let's see, anything else? I think let's get the terminal here because we can get ourselves some nanites out of it and we're going to need those and we'll check our inventory here in a second to see how many we acquired blah 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 same blah 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 that you see every single time well not every time but okay how many should we get 147 nanites that's not bad more importantly not bad, 13 of these, so that gives us seven, eight, nine, nine hundred thousand. That's pretty good. Keep you down here, keep you here. Oh, I forgot to put that on the ship. All right, we'll just put that aside for now. That looks good, okay. All right, the swarm subsided, we're done. Okay, now we need a lot of carbon, like I said. How much carbon did we get? Not a lot at all, we got 138 carbon. So, wish we could find a tree here, but we will come across carbon as we go. More ferrite dust. These are the only carbon-based things here, and they only give you a little bit of carbon at a time. So it would take forever to get this charge depleted. So we're going to just about fill it up with all this. Let's take a quick peek around and see what we got. Um, by all means, identify the animals. There's only seven? Yeah, seven of them here. And all of them are, I believe, above ground. 
Yeah, it's inorganic. Well, we got to we got to do the do the inorganic objects too. Let's do that. Plant life, we'll get it all. Let's just get it all as we can. Biologics, plant life again. So, doing a lot of scanning while we're here. That's another thing we're going to have to do throughout this whole thing. But we're going to get to a point where we're done with all of it. So, are we working on phase one? The answer to the question is, uh, no, we're working on all the phases at exactly the same time. So, yeah, there's that, right? Okay. Can't see him. There we go. All right. Let's go ahead and turn that thing off. I don't need my light on anymore. Okay, we have some sodium over there. I'm going to go ahead and grab it real quick, because like I said, we need sodium. And we're definitely going to need dihydrogen sooner than later. We need, we need some now, so let's go ahead and grab it for the time being. But we can get um, from any of the people in the either the space station itself or the pilots, we can get some dihydrogen jelly. And we can use the built-in glitch in the system and go ahead and get ourselves some extra dihydrogen as we need it. Uh, do we have any... Let me see here. Any caves? We need a cave system. I was hoping there'd be a cave right here, but I do not see one. Sodium is the next thing I need. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and build this thing out while I'm thinking of it. Uh, we need one dihydrogen, I believe... Oh, we need two of those. My bad. Really? That's not enough. There's a whole bunch over here. Let's go ahead and get these. There we go. All right. So now we can start digging these things up. We have any technology modules right around here? No, that's the nearest one. I need sodium, not copper. Uh, plants, plants, plants. Sodium deposit right there. Okay, let's go for that one. Oh, great. It's one of those sodium deposits. The non-existent sodium deposit. Yes, of course. My favorite one. Okay. There was one down here. So uh, That's a little far. Sodium at 572. And we'll grab the technology module halfway over. So let's go ahead and just grab it. Oh, that was a terrible run. Now we got a couple planets we're going to go to that are going to have plenty of plant life. And plant life means carbon. If anything, it'll give me some nanites. I'll go ahead and grab it while we're here. Okay, where is it? Okay. Okay. We're on our way. So we got about, I'm going to say, close to a million credits right now. We don't have a lot of nanites at all, but if we can get the creatures of this planet, which I know there's some flyers as well, I don't see any just yet. No, oh, they've all vanished. Isn't that neat? Okay. They'll show up in a minute. So as you can see, you don't really have to worry also about those whispering eggs. If you know how to do it right, you really don't have to worry about those. It's not that bad of a thing. Alright, let's get all some of the sodium. I need 
few hundred of it I need at least. So I'm going to do it in the smallest setting for the time being until I get to about 200 to 250 and then I'm going to go ahead and widen out and I'll clean it up. All right. And this will be worth our time to get this. I used to go to a further away planet that had uh, uranium and copper and used to sit there and uh, refine it and everything like that, but I found that it's really, really not needed. I know my toxicity level is getting low, but I have a battery, so we'll be good. All right. That looks pretty good. Go to a larger setting. Let's grab it all. And we'll get, get some silicate powder as well for recharging purposes. There we go. That looks good. Oh, so one of the other benefits, too, if you've played some of the other expeditions up to this point, the reduxes and stuff like that, this is in normal mode. It is not permadeath. So you don't have to worry about losing everything. Plus, you'll notice that everything seems to be taking longer as well. You know, like the, the, re, the, the discharge rate, the... My, my beams are lasting longer, things like that. See, we got 400 sodium. I think we're going to be good. All right, we'll just clean some of this up real fast. All right. Okay. Where's ship? Where's ship? Where's ship? Ooh, what that? saw them. Sack Venom can't do anything with it. There's my ship. Okay, so in between here and ship is there. There's a buried technology over there. Let's head towards it and grab some of that. Because the more cash we can grab along the way, the better off we'll be in the end. And what do you know? We're not really doing anything with Sentinels this time around. No fighting them. We do have to fight some pirates. But if we get fortunate enough, either because we, we do have a pirate system on the way from the first to the second point, but we have to be really fortunate if there happens to be a, you know, battle that we can grab. Got to wait for the for everything to catch up here. There we go. Only two of them, I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay. So how many do we have now so far? We have a total of four. Ooh. We do need pure ferrite. That's going to be very handy to have. So we'll hang on to that. So we got four salvage data, a little over a million credits. We'll be able to pick up most of what we need at this point. Um, life support's low. Let's just use our oxygen. I'll pick up some dioxide later. And, okay, I guess we'll head over to the ship. I don't see a whole lot within range and reach that's going to be worth my time. So... Off to the ship. Let's get ourselves out of here. Ugh. Mining beam. Pick up the copper while we can. Uh-oh. It wasn't too bad of a drop, but it was kind of dumb. See, the clusters of three like that seem to take longer, and I think we get more out of it. Yeah, we get about 25, 27 out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Investigate. All right. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. Uh, we have enough carbon to go by. 126. Whoopee. <laughs> okay. Yeah, not a whole lot there. I'm going to put this on our ship because we're not going to need it on our person. All right. Did we ever get all the animals? I don't think we did. Four of the seven. What were the other three? Flying. Oh, two of them underground. Yeah. 
I think we're going to skip it this time around, time around, folks. All right, let's get out of here. Looks like the space station is right there, which means our ship is going to be up here someplace. So we're going to head to the space station, I think. Oh, that's not the space station. My bad. Must have been one of those little moons. Uh, I have trouble controlling right now. Okay. So I don't think we had any other rewards, right? Yes, we did. Planet side. Find a room. More oxygen it gave us. Okay, cool. Yeah, I would have been great to have acquired that. So here's a lesson to learn, folks. Mining beam. That would have been better because I would have gotten more from mining had I done that. So, kind of stupid. And we've got hazard protection, which is just going to be shield. And we'll go ahead and add that there. Okay, let's get in the space station here. Pilots should have already been landing. Because it's your first space station, you get the famous first space station music, if you will. So I think I'm keeping a normal chatter going. You see, we've been going for about a, not quite a half hour yet on the mission itself. So while we're waiting, no harm in selling this stuff. We don't need the traveler. Nice guy. Don't need to talk to him. Let's sell our larval cores, 886. We're getting a little extra for that. Uh, 200 for them, so that's going to get us over the million mark. I don't really have anything else to sell. So what have we got to buy? Uh, grab a couple extra wiring looms if you can afford them. Uh, you will need one amino chamber at some point, so you might as well grab it. Uh, copper, here's your uranium. So just need one run of that. You don't need a whole lot. So don't worry about getting more. That should be more than enough. I probably could have taken half of it and been fine. Let's talk to this pilot. One of them has some pyrite, I believe. But we're going to get some chromatic metal from somewhere. I don't know if it's from these guys or if we get it from... Oh, we need the cobalt. Two groupings of cobalt. Here's your chromatic metal. Go ahead and grab it. Uh, you definitely need silver. It's not worth a whole lot, so go ahead and grab it. I don't need any more of this. We don't need any computers. Everything else is pretty much done. Okay, so we're good there. No other pilots have landed. We got a good amount of chromatic metal. We're going to need it for repairs. We need navigation data, so there's some on that table, so I'll grab that in a minute. Let's check this terminal here. Sometimes they have different stuff. See, there's more cobalt. Grab it while you can. That should be enough. Uh, let's see. You're going to need a couple of these. I recommend three a piece. I think it's only two, but grab three if you can afford it. Paraffinium you're going to need as well. There we go. Okay. Now, it doesn't leave me with a whole lot of money left, but start throwing the stuff in your ship. Why? Because you want a personal refiner. So build that while you can. There you go. And what you're going to do with your cobalt is take at least half of it and chuck it in there. Yeah, we got a few of them. And we're good. Well, probably want to start it too, right? Makes sense. Okay. Let's put the rest in our inventory over there, over there, over there. Okay. Oh, and of course, that goes in my ship. All right. We should be good. Another batch of chromatic metal would be nice. So we'll get one of these other pilots here. No, I don't want the chair, obviously. Good. That's what I needed. Let's hit this guy up. Uh, we don't need any more cobalt. We're not going to need any pugnium. We shouldn't need it anyway. Okay. He doesn't have any chromatic metal. There's another dude over here. Let's see if we can catch him before he leaves. There we go. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Where's your chromatic metal? We got tritium. Grab the tritium while you can, too. Doesn't cost a lot. All right, there you go. That is for your boosters, for your pulse drives. You're going to want to use tritium, but you know what? It's better to use pyrite. It's more efficient, and you need the tritium later. It's helpful because you need it to build stuff. I would grab the silver if I could afford it, but I really need some chromatic metal. Ah, we'll go ahead and grab it. We'll grab what I can of chromatic metal when we can find somebody that's selling it. Now, I wish I had enough nanites because I would be definitely getting one of these people who was recruiting them to my ship. 
but eh, it is what it is. Dramatic metal. There we go. Do we have enough? 50 grand. Can we get all of this? Yes, we can. Okay, we pretty much wiped ourselves out, but we've got an excellent start. Excellent start to everything that we needed. So we should be in really, really good shape. We do need some carbon um, because, and I don't think we can access our freighter just yet. We need antimatter housings. So if we build the antimatter housings, let's see what we can do. I need 30 oxygen, 50 ferrite. We should have more than enough. Yep, we're good. So now we can fix the freighter all the rest of the way. And there we go. We're all set. And we're going to take this and put it over here. You remember that warp cell that we have? We're going to put it in there. Now, for some reason, it still thinks it's damaged, but that's okay. After our first uh, run, uh, hyperspace jump, we should be in good shape. All right, I think we're done with this system. Now, again, your ship doesn't have a hyperdrive, so you have to rely on your freighter to do that. Okay, this is my starship. Hold on. Yeah, I'll leave this all here. This is fine. Pyrite on the ship. On the ship. We're going to keep this with us and recharge stuff. We're going to put this on the starship. And we're going to put this... I'd like to have it on the freighter, actually. Let's go to the starship and move that over. This is going to go on the freighter. This is going to go... Well, let's keep this here. We can sell this. I'm going to put it back in my exosuit. Same thing with that. And everything else could stay put. And we need to upgrade our ship at some point. Okay. Let's get away from our flaming ship. Our ship here is completely fixed. But we should have now have the resources to build stuff. So first things first. We have to get within the zone. Let's drop our save point right here. So it's out of our inventory. And it's nice to have it there in case you need think you need it. Um, what's next? We are supposed to build a refiner room, right? We need two dihydrogen jellies, right? I forgot to buy some. Do we have enough to make one? Let's get this stuff out of the inventory. We need that. We'll put it in our starship. We do. We do. We have plenty. Plenty. Because the output is much higher. See that? For every 40 that you that you use to build a dihydrogen jelly, you can put it in your refiner and get 50 back. So the returns are much better. All right, let's build our refiner room. You don't really use it much. I suggest putting it someplace out away from everything because you're just you're not going to really need it. Oh, I'm going to hit my phone in just a second. One moment. I received a text message from a minion, and I wanted to make sure they knew that everything was cool. All right, so we got our refiner room. So we got that done. Let's go to the... Go in here and collect our reward. Now, we want to warp with it. We also can create a storage room and an interstellar scanner. So let's see what we need to do. See, we get the storage room plants here, and we, get war and we also get a warp hypercore. So guess what? We have a warp hypercore to charge our warp drive and an extra warp cell just in case we need it. Pretty cool. It wants us to build a storage room. Let's go ahead and do that. It needs silver and sodium. Remember how I said we needed those? Now we've got them. Guess what? Another achievement made. Got another milestone taken care of. Boom. Let's grab that. What do we get? Interstellar scanner plans. Well, guess what? Let's go ahead and do that. Now, this is not a room. This is an upgrade for your freighter up here. Let's go ahead and put it in. We need magnetized ferrite. That's strange. I could have swore I had some on me. But we need 70 of it. It's not a big, big deal. Again, I swore I had some magnetized ferrite, and I'm pretty sure I didn't sell it. All right, so we need 70. This will get us started, so let's put it over here for now so we have it here. I need 140, so I need 23 more. I 
Ah, close, right? Pure ferrite. Okay. So we're going to install this. The benefit of this particular device when you install it on your ship, you remember that on your regular starship, you have to get a uh, conflict scanner and an economy scanner in order to see everything for every system that you come across while you're in the uh, hyperspace star charts. Well, this does all of that for you in one shot. So you don't have to worry about it. And now I'll be able to see every system. There's my completion of that particular milestone. So yes, you can see we have just completed almost everything within our first phase, and yet we're barely 40 minutes in. So let's see what we got as far as rewards. We've got something for our pulse engine. Let's go ahead and add that in. That'll help that out. And we've got a jetpack module as well, an A-class one, which gives us... That's not bad. So why don't we put this here, and it will give us an extra boost. Yeah, to up it up to 200. So that's nice. Okay, good deal. So I think we're in pretty good shape. Um, let's go back to the expedition. The only thing we need to do is warp and reach our first rendezvous. In phase two, we have to deploy a submarine. We have to discover more plants. Plants mean good things, means carbon. I'm stuck. There we go. Let's get going. Now, how many nanites do I have? I have 2,235, correct? We want to manage squadron, and we're going to add a slot for 800. 3,500, and it says 3,500. This goes up to 7,500 later on after you get your second slot. So keep that in mind. Now I can go ahead and get somebody on my ship. While we're here, I'm going to add additional storage. We don't need it up there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it here because that's a good place to put it. And that's how I feel, in my humble opinion. All right, so we hit the R button. That gives us a everything about the system that we're looking at, right? If we take a look, we see that one's on Ruli. The next system we're going to go to after that, it's out of range. But there's actually a pirate system in here someplace. I don't remember where it was. But let's go ahead and get to our first system here. And take a hop, skip, jump along the way. Because we have to get to that first thing. The fact that we've gotten a one hyperspace jump in here will give us a milestone, which will give us more things and should get us where we need to go. Now, if we happen to have a planet nearby that happens to have some good stuff on it, we can go there, but we don't necessarily have to. And we get our achievement. There it is. Let's see what kind of rewards we get. Warp Hypercore plans. Now we can make our own if we find some... Well, we can find make our own if we wish. Salvaged Hyperdrive upgrade. So we know we can go further. And Amplified Warp Shielding. You won't need that. Even though it says that the plans are there. We don't need it. You're not going to need it for this particular... Uh expedition at all so we're going to boost our technology supercharge well guess what let's move hello where are you going that's weird i'm pretty sure i didn't do that let's see how far, far we can go not 235 light years now so that's excellent all right so we're going to get a good, good boost out of that that'll be really nice now we need to install a fleet command center because we're going to have to get some things going. We don't have to do it now, so I'm going to hold off on that right now, and we're going to continue on our merry little way, because I think the next system we go to is a pirate system. The problem is we don't have a lot of money, but we're going anyway. All right. Hydration. There we go. 
Talking is thirsty work. Okay, so we're here. Uh, I want to go visit. I want to see if there's any missions on the mission log that allow us to fight some pirates and get some money. Notice the ship's not flaming anymore? Told you that would happen. Now, the... Hmm... You know what? I need to recruit somebody. I am not going to do it just yet. I know. I'm having a difference of opinion of what I want to do. The outlaw stations, you can't recruit anybody on the outlaw station itself. But pilots that land on your freighter, you can recruit. So, keeping that in mind. I think this is up. There we go. Oh, I like the guns there. That's pretty neat. All right. And we're here with no money. That's okay. We don't need much. Now we got 1,400 nanites on us. I want to see if there's any photon cannon upgrades for my ship first. Yeah, glad to see me. I know. Plasma launcher, hazard, infinite life support movement, hyperdrive, shield scanner, geology cannon, starship, shield module. Eh. No, nope, they don't have anything. I am going to grab the movement module. Because. Well, because. Because why not? What do we get out of it? 195. What did this one have? 160. Oh, yeah, baby. We'll put you there. Good deal. Yeah, 244. That's going to be good. That'll come in handy when we're running around on a planet. Let's see if he has anything for us. Uh, seize goods. Deliver. Seize. Seize. Deliver. Guess not. I mean, the money's pretty good here. You get some salvage data, you get repair kits, which are handy. nip, -nip buds will sell for a good amount. But we're not going to get enough money to do anything with. And since we don't have any money, yeah. We should have probably upgraded our exosuit back there at the other space station. I forgot. My bad. So I'm going to go ahead and just put it here. And we have those upgrades for our ship. Let's go ahead over here and upgrade the ship too while we're at it. Do-do-do. Apply. Uh, let's see. There, 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 and there. And I want to get it up here, too. All right. How does that look? Looks a little bit better. That's not what I'm looking at. There, that's what I'm looking for. All right. Not a lot of damage, but again, we didn't get any missions to attack pirates. But, just so you know what happens here, if I try to, uh, try to hire this guy, the option is not even there. See? It's no use. Uh, you know what? I do want to get rid of the liquid sun that's on my person. Uh, let's see. There it is. I don't get much for it, but it's gone. I don't have to worry about it now. Done. Okay. So, this was kind of a fruitless gesture to land here, unfortunately, because we just didn't have the money to buy anything or to increase our funds. So, off we go. Back to our freighter, which is, is, where did our freighter go? Up oh, there she is. I would, I, I would pulse drive to it, but you were literally too close to it to pulse drive, so. Mm. Oh, I'm on the other side of the ship. My bad. There we go. And we're landed. Okay. So we're going to move on. Sadly and unhappily, I couldn't get anything from the, from the space station. I don't have enough money. That's okay. We'll get more money as we go. So, and we'll hire some people later on. We don't have to worry about it. It'll come to us when we... When we that's needed. So let's get to our first rendezvous. And we will finish out phase one, I think, personally, in record time for me. 
and then we'll go ahead and hit another planet someplace along the way because we want to scan materials. We got to get that done. Um, we do have to fight pirates eventually, but we'll see what happens. And I got to get some fleets going in in on missions here, so that'll be good. All right, we here. Hang on. Off to the ship. I wonder if we wait long enough, will a ship land? What do you think? I think one will. Or maybe they won't land until I take off. Okay, but well we've got regular space stations here. And we're not really headed for a space station. See, I knew it. The right-hand door just opened. I knew it. All right. So I'm not heading for the space station at this time. We're going to head for whatever planet this happens to be near us. Uh, oh, good. Aggressive Sentinels. Just what I always wanted. Uh, no. What's this one? Let's go to single view so we can see a little bit better. Verdant. 1141. And you're... Oh, wait a minute. Where's our... We need to get to the first rendezvous. There it is. That's where we need to go. And this is a good planet. It's an overgrown planet. So you know what we get there? Lots of plants. And in turn, lots of uh, uh, carbon. So this is going to be great. Uh, another easy thing about this is that the rendezvous points are all freighters. Your first freighter is on land, so this first rendezvous point is going to be a freighter that's crashed on the land. The subsequent four other freighters after that are all in the ocean. Uh, the next three will be just popping up enough that you can actually land on a portion of the freighter. Uh, whereas the last one will be so submerged that you're going to have to land on an island nearby and swim to your heart's content to get there. Uh, you can get your Nautilin going. I don't know if that'll be any quicker, but it is what it is. All right, so here we are. Multiplayer's turned off, so you're not going to see any of the players. You obviously have noticed so far that I haven't seen any. We do not even even need to attend to the anomaly, even though it's there. We could go up there after some of the travels and hit up Ares and see if we can get some extra nanites from them. But we'll see. Just look for the freighter. See, I know the point's over there. Look for the freighter. And before we do that... Got some condensed carbon. Some more plants. More ferrite dust. I'm more interested in something I don't seem to be getting. I'm not getting any carbon. Where's my plants? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a break. There it is. 790 carbon. Wonderful. That's what I was looking for. Hello. I'm, I hit something. I don't know what I hit. All right. I think we got enough. <laughs> we just set it up with 3,000 carbon. I think we. I think we're good. I think we're good. All right. Let's head in. I apologize that some of the messages that are coming up on some of these uh, communication balls are not good messages and hopefully people have been reporting them uh, some people have been putting in some extremely dirty messages so I apologize for anything that pops up on the screen hopefully they do not show up this time around okay and now we can log into the second entry on our ship let's go ahead and get our reward nice and we get some slots for our exosuit which I'm gonna take up the open areas that piss me off so much all right, and I don't know if any of mine survived. Interesting. I did try to turn off that feature, and it may be working. Now, you know what? I don't have any money, right? Maybe it would be in my best interest if I go ahead and take some stuff. My dad is a computer. Well, if you say so. 
Um, oh, for crying out loud. Somebody put a base down. Where's the base computer? I would love to find the base computer. Hey, what do we got for uh, animals here? I think there's six. There's seven here, too. Good. Hello from Malaysia. Good deal. All right. So that should be three, I think. Let me see if I can get through these guys. Yep, we can. So at least we can get the two up above, above ground ones here. And maybe we can get something out of them. Cargo bulkhead. Mm, great. It's worth something. And let's get the second one and call it a day. Salvage data. Okay, that's something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're okay. All right. I do want to discover all the creatures if I can. There's seven of them, and if I'm not mistaken, I think we've discovered all the above-ground ones. Three of them. Let me see. One more flying. Two flying, and the other two are underwater. But if I remember correctly, it was inaccurate that, the two, that two of the flying ones were actually underwater creatures. Flying fish, if you will. So I'm going to try taking a quick jump into the water. Oh, there's the base computer. And it's hidden. Someone glitched it. While we're here... Yeah, let's get the inorganic objects. There's another one. There's another one. Do we get all of them yet? Six or seven. Get some plants. Oh, I forgot about this. You're going to need sulfide, crystal sulfides. You'll need one, two... You'll need eight of them. So grab eight. Now there are some superheated rainstorms here, but that's okay. They're not going to hurt you. Maybe they will. If you stay out long enough, I guess you will. Let's keep getting all these uh, things. Okay, he just blew. Go ahead and grab the crystal sulfides on this one. We need one more. Let's see what we got. One more, one more, one more. That's the one I grabbed it from before. Let's get up to the surface real quick and just refresh our airflow. Get the minerals. We should be able to get eight minerals. Come on now. So many to get. Uh, takes a while. Okay, let's see. Did we get it? We got it. So eight new minerals. Let's go ahead and grab that one. That's down in phase four. And we're just coming up on an hour right now. So we're actually, I th frankly, I think we're doing pretty stinking good. Um, I think we've gotten quite a bit done. Looks like there's another one right down there. I don't think this is the one I've hit before. 
So we got six crystal sulfides. We need... Yeah, it's definitely a different one. Let's let it blow its top first. Look around for any more creatures. There it is. Okay. Whoa, there's two of them there. Yeah, grab some extras. All right. Why? Because it's worth it. Where's my ship? That way. All right, are there any two or three star things floating around? No, there's no other red dots that I can see. So we're going to start heading back. We do also need salt. Let's see here. Salt. Chlorine. We needed salt and... Oh, for the love of Pete, I can't think of the name of it. Something you get from one of these plants down here. Oh, I'm almost out of air. Let me get up to the top here. Uh, let's head in this direction. But we needed uh, cytoph cytophosphate. That was it. Cytophosphate, which we get from the plants. Chlorine dihydrogen. Chlorine dihydrogen. Very odd. Salt and ferrite dust. I mean, no, no, we need salt. We can pick up salt. It's the cytophosphate that we can't get. All right, so we're probably going to have to go to a different planet to find all this. carbon. Wow, that's really weird. I've never seen a planet like this that did not have something that gave off cytophosphate. Huh. All right. Is what it is. Okay. Let's see what we got. Let's collect our phase one of reward, which gives us our posters and stuff like that. Jump back in. We're going to go to phase two. We've got to reach the second rendezvous. So, but we haven't read the plans here at the first one. So we've got to read the, the cruise log. And I think we picked up enough that we can get moving here. Wow, that's nice, huh? Let's take a look at what we have on the ship. Look at all that carbon. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. That's pretty freaking awesome. Okay. A little bit of ferrite dust. I don't mind that. And take the hydrogen too. Just make sure I'm going to do some reorganizing here. All right. Back over to you, Bob. So like I said, I need eight of these. These can be sold. These salvage data is pretty cool, right? You don't need them. Sell them. You don't really need more cargo bulkheads. We're not going to really be putting a lot in there, so we might as well sell that off. This we're going to stick in our starship. We're going to sell these off. We do need navigation data. So we're going to have to keep our eyes open for that. Let's go ahead and take off from here. Um, I mean, I would love to see if I could find that seventh creature. Because we really, really, really need the nanites. And I was hoping to find something here like that, but... There's literally nothing here. Okay. And I haven't visited the space station here yet. Okay. Oh, hey, look at that. Should we... Do we dare? Okay. Let's go. <laughs> like I said, we're in normal mode. They shouldn't be too tough, but I guess we'll find out the hard way, right? 
Oh, there's four interceptors too. All right, let's see if we can get out of this. Yeah. It's not too bad of damage. They're kind of wussy. I mean, permadeath mode, I would already been fried. <laughs> I just wanted your Girl Scout cookies. I'm so sorry. Why do I have to pay? All right. You know what we're going to have to do, right? All right. Let's go. Maybe we can get some stuff out of them. Hopefully we won't die. Okay, my pulse engine was critically damaged. Go figure. Hermetic seal and a metal plate. Uh, hermetic seal, metal plate. Come on. There we go. And we're going to have to fight them. We don't really have a choice here. This was kind of stupid. Hopefully we've been getting some stuff out of them, though. And once we get this guy... Okay. Space station. Okay. That should do it. That's not what I wanted to do. We can't do that. Stop that. I just wanted to recharge some stuff. Okay, pulse engine, we're going to use the pyrite. Uh, and let's recharge launch thrusters while we're here. Let's recharge our shields. Yeah, we got a shield battery out of one of them, so that's good. And what did we else did we get? Did we get anything else out of them? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, I don't think I had it quite right. Hmm, that planet's interesting, but it has the aggressive sentinels on it. Got it. Ah, crud. Six minutes away. All right, let's go. These guys are kind of wimpy. I mean, I don't know. I think on the last last one, we uh, really had our hands full. Guess we must have taken him out. I didn't realize it. He's too close to fire my rockets. All right, now where's the space station at? My shields are almost out. There it is. That'll work. All right, that's okay. They can arrive if they want. We're almost here. Okay, so that was kind of a crazy way to end this.
Sorry about that, folks. Six of them this time, huh? All right. We are done. Let's see what we got on our ship. Anything? Nothing. We got nothing from them. You suck. We got this, though. <laughs> we wanted money. We've got money. Uh, Magna Gold. Nice. That's good. We're keeping that here. This is staying on board. Okay. Doesn't look like we got much else from them, but still, we got some decent money out of that. So we're going to end up with uh, at least, I don't know, half mil? Half a mil in credits, maybe more. Sell. Thank you. And 185. I'm going to sell those three for 21. We don't need the platinum. There wasn't much there. 127, 129, 53. Okay, so it wasn't a ton. 100,000 for that. Magna Gold, 120. Here's here's where it comes in, the salvage data. 1.3 mil. And trust me, you're not going to need it. Okay, so we're all set. 2 million. Is there anything in here we want to buy? I don't think we need anything. I think we're okay now. Uh, yeah, there's really nothing we're going to need. So we should be in good shape now with all the items we need. We do need to recruit a pilot. I really don't like these ships, though. You know, I, I, I can be picky. Can I? Can I be a little picky? I'm going to be a little picky. Uh, we're okay on nanites. We've got over 4,000. We can get two pilots if we wanted to. Um, ship is in good shape. Ugh, they're all... Ugh. You know what I'm saying? Ugh. We do need... This stuff. Navigation data. We need a few more of those. We got two. We got three. Fantastic. Four. And some nanites. How many are we up to? Six. Excellent. We needed six. Uh, actually, I think there's two more in here. Yep, one more. We got one more out of that. Let's check the trade terminal since we're here. All right. Oh, salt. Remember? Needed salt. I don't remember how much you need salt. How much salt you need. I don't quite remember. I'm going to grab 200 of it. Yeah, that's good. All right. So we needed the salt. I got the salt. We're going to need cytophosphate because that's how we build our uh, unit. Hey, is that a fighter? Is that a fighter? I got two fighters here. Let's see which one's better. Uh, recruit. B class. Eh, you're okay. Let's go over here to get you. No, I don't want to trade. You're also B class. All right. Well, we'll recruit you anyway. So we got a nice fighter on our on our ship. I grabbed the other one, but we haven't opened up the second uh, unit yet. All right. Do we have anything to claim? No. Let's get back to our freighter, and I think we're going to end it on the freighter every single time. So let's head over to the freighter, and we'll call it. Hmm. There we go. Now, we, again, we have enough nanites to open up the second slot. For the squadron and we need a total of three so i'm going to go open up that second slot and we'll get this going and i think this will be a good stopping point after this uh right here manage squadron open up the slot for 3500 next one 7500 like i said let's see the good news is is that there should have been some ships have should have landed here somewhere I saw them coming in. You can't hide from me. Oh, there's the door opening now. Let's see what we got coming in. Come on. Okay. Yes. How about you? Where are you? Well, that's a cargo ship. That's a cargo ship. That's a cargo ship. I mean, it's a pretty cool looking cargo ship, I don't know about you. Let's check out the uh, Explorer class. I don't particularly like it, but he does look like he's holding a sword. I'll give him that. 
C-Class. You stink. <clears throat> I'll take the hauler over that any day. <clears throat> see what he got. S-Class. See? Told you. We got two ships now. So that's two recruited. All right. So we're in good shape. Uh, so basically, I need to read the log, and then we're going to go ahead and call this. Talk to our Admiral. And access the ship's log. Oh, no new records. Okay, so, so the next record that we're going to read is going to be in Phase 2 at our objective. So we got to get to that system first. So we're going to go ahead and quit here and end Episode 1. We'll pick up where we left off. Like I said, we're about an hour and 15 into this so far. And we're doing pretty good, I think. I think we've got plenty of items on us already. Now it's just going to be slogging out the rest of it. So I'll go ahead and leave you folks until the next episode. And we'll try to pick up right here. All right, see you in a little bit.